And we're back for more Nancy Drew. How is everyone doing? We are in Canada. And that's enough fishing for now, so we're going to go ahead and uh, back out of here. I'm sure we'll be back for more fishing at some point. That was a lot of fun. It is a bit chilly out. We want to head back to the, I guess, resort, if you will. And uh, I guess we should really start getting ready for lunch. Just gotta find where the kitchen is, because I have a suspicion that we're well, we're the cook and we're the maid, so let's go take care of that then. Once I figure out where the front door is. All right, so let's click on the front door. All I right. feel warmer already. Excellent. We need to. Uh, just move here. Oh wow, it's already like noon. Good grief. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Piece of paper. January 15th, Chantel. This is my formal notice of resignation. While I enjoy being in service with you and the staff at Icicle Creek Lodge, I no longer feel safe with all these accidents going on. I've put a claim to your insurance company for the damage I sustained to my tires by the wolf. Huh. Interesting. Evidence we don't keep. Ooh, what do you have here? Maid duties! Alright, so this is all our duties that we have to take care of, do we? Sona! Noon to one, okay, so it's almost time for lunch. Here's our uh, guests here. Carl, Yanni, hmm. Contents deleted. Wonder why. Yeah, that is weird. Hey, look, William Kessler from Toronto, Ontario. Ha ha ha. Phone number. Wow, check out that phone number. Ah, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with phone numbers, that actually is not the proper area code for Toronto. The Toronto area code. Well, the most popular one is four one six. 905 is for surrounding areas like uh, the area the city surrounding Toronto anyways that's just a little trivia for you there Ooh. well uh, who can we call Tino apparently he's not a good guy so we're calling I want to hear what he's got to say sure helped is the right word, Mr. Balducci. <laughs> Please, call me Tino. In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. Hey, that's all behind me. Ancient history. Water under the bridge. So, looks like we're gonna be working together on this sabotage thing, huh? Looks like. Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm working on something that'll pretty much crack this case wide open. But in the meantime, what can I do you for? I'm curious, how do you know Chantal? Friend of a friend heard about all the problems she was having up there and immediately figured she could use my crime-solving expertise. So I gave her a call, we had lunch, we headed off, and bingo. I got myself a new client. How many clients do you have? I have enough. <laughs> I mean, you know, you go spreading yourself too thin in this business, and the next thing you know, crime out the wazoo. Absolutely. I'd better go. Don't be a stranger. All right, so I'm going to quickly save here. And uh, I want to make sure that I don't miss lunch. Okay, so now we got to find... We'll come back to the phone. Obviously, we've got more phone calls to make. Laundry basket. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Okay. This time when I read your letter saying you weren't coming, I didn't get sad. I got mad. 
I can't believe you think working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady whose name I can't even pronounce is more important than spending time with me. If I didn't love you so much, I'd tell you to go take a flying leap. But since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like, maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the, the box you stored in my garage and dump them down to disposal. Or maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. I don't know how else to make you understand. I love you with all my heart, and I always will. Wow. Uh, hello, red light. Um, going off. Yeah, this is... That's creepy. That is not a healthy relationship. My darling Elsa, remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well, that was true, but what's even truer is that I'm going to love you forever. Wow. I can't even read that. That is way too extreme. Where's the middle ground here? You said in your letter that you love me forever back, but if that's true, why did you put off coming here to see me? When I read you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it felt just like somebody had walked up and stabbed me through the heart. Holy cow. Elsa, run. Run quickly. And, and swiftly. And now. That is super creepy. I don't... That, like, there's certainly a lot to be said about love, but yikes, that is... That's not right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't even call that romantic. That's just creepy. Okay, so where's the kitchen? I don't think that's the kitchen. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. The bone's not there. I wonder what happened to it. So I will give you a little bit of history that uh, the area kind of in that Edmonton, Calgary area in Alberta it actually uh, was a sort of, uh, I guess you could say, there's a lot of dinosaur bones there, a lot of oil. That's why there's oil-rich areas in that zone of Alberta, is because of the dinosaurs. And in fact, the, when I went to visit Calgary for a sort of a social trip, we went to this area that uh, it was all about dinosaurs and stuff like that. So, so yeah. That is totally legit. That's why we have all that oil there. Trapper John? What's Trapper Dan got to do anything? More good stuff here. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100 year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. Sure does. Okay, we can't hang around here very long. We gotta find out where the kitchen is. Looks like that's a guest over there. We don't have time to talk to the guests. Where is the kitchen? Uh, yay, we're in the kitchen. Okay, so we have a cooking manual. Uh, how do I know what to cook? Oh, wow. Quesadilla. One hamburger, two cheese, two lettuce, one pickle. Um, what? I don't even know what I'm doing here. So it's uh, two cheese, one lettuce. But also, I have your ear. Two cheese, one lettuce. No, oh, two lettuce, a pickle, and ketchup. Pickle and ketchup. Okay, how do I serve it, though? Is that served? 
Order complete. Order up. Oh wow, I'm loving this. Hamburger, two cheese, one pickle, one tomato. Let's put a couple patties on there because we're, we're cool. A quesadilla. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Oh shoot, that's garbage. Give me that. Give me that quesadilla back. Okay, so what does he need here? Cheese, lettuce, two pickles. So I get cheese, lettuce. I don't want to waste it, so. Two pickles, tomato. Wow, everything. Two pickles. Tomatoes. Onions. Mustard and ketchup. Wow. The works on this one. Nom nom, hamburgers. Order's up. Order up. And then this one here was two cheese, a pickle, and a tomato. Two cheese, a pickle, tomato, two onion, and a ketchup. One, two. This is fun. Not quite as fun as cookies. <laughs> I love the silent spy for that. Order up. Okay, what do we got here? Just a quesadilla? I can totally do that in a heartbeat. Another quesadilla. Oh. Order done. Order up. Quesadilla. And hammer. Oh, come on. That was totally not fair. I clicked it too late. And a quesadilla. Okay, well, we need two quesadillas. Crap. Ugh. That one's done. Order up. The hamburger off of there. Quesadilla. So what's the hamburger supposed to be? One of everything. Jeez. Uh, lettuce. Pickle. Come on, lettuce. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. I love how the uh, mustard is side to side and the ketchup is around in a circle. There you go. What, I didn't get paid? <laughs> All that work and I didn't get paid? Alright, well at least I did my duty here. My guest is gone. Oh well. Food poisoning, wolf plague, Icicle Creek Lodge. Huh. Four people were forced to check out early from the Icicle Creek Lodge after becoming violently ill. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, let's just soak up the warmth of this fire. I can actually smell it. You know that sort of burning wood smell? Hmm. Oh, well, we have a game to do. Let's get back into it. But I could sit there all day and enjoy the lovely smell of burning wood. Alright, what do we have over here? No. Well, we should probably figure out how to uh, be a maid. Let's see. This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Okay. That's not what goes here. Good, good, good. I have to clean all the rooms? The Chinook room. How do I get in here? I have a master key. I think that's the master key, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, let's put the key away. Uh, nothing in here? Nope. Is this my room? I think this is my room. Why am I in my room? I broke into my own room. Crazy. This is Nancy's room. Okay, let's go into the Chinook here. I don't know what I'm doing here. 
Hmm. Okay, need to get to go to the bathroom. Just like in Deadly Device. Okay, does she have any cheeky to say? She does not. Okay, so what do we have here? How do I get in though? Oh, okay. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. So where's the laundry? Artist. Artiste. There we go. Oh wow, we actually get to make the bed. Huh. Uh this key? Nope. Does that mean we've got all the laundry? Let's go in here. Gotta make the bed. Nifty. <laughs> I can't believe I'm a maid. I'm a Nancy Drew maid. I love it. Super fun. No, go that way. I want to get those towels. Winter Sports Monthly. Woo. World Championship venue remains a mystery. Okay. Grab those towels. We get in there. I don't think we have the right key. No. Okay, let's see here. Go to this room. I think we did this room already. Uh, back this way. Yeah. Hey, what's this guy doing? Oh, back up. We have to do the maidly things. Rudimentary geology. Structural engineering. Large machinery. Bed. And get the laundry. Cool, cool. I don't think I can get in here as well. Nope, locked up. Okay, across the hall. Totally being a maid here. Ooh, I like this room. This room's all red. Like Canada. This should be the Canada room. Biathlon Biennial. Yanny, I think he was one of the guests, wasn't he? I think so. Aw, fan. Cool. Maybe another fan. Okay, we gotta make the bed. So, is that me done? I don't think there's any other rooms. I'm only supposed to use this door if it's an emergency. Okay, so let's drop off the laundry then. Laundry. I think I'm done, right? Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Crud. I should take a shower. Okay. Well, I think that's enough for now. We are done being made Nancy Drew, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.